Santa Cruz, like many other communities, is struggling with a growing homeless population. By declaring an emergency, it enables the city to move forward with plans to open a temporary shelter along River Street. There's, there's a lot of piracy that goes on in those general, in that niche. And um, I mean, as you all know, there's, I think there's been two or three deaths there. Uh, Nathan Harding is homeless. He chooses to maintain his independent living outside the Benchlands, but welcomes a temporary shelter along the city-owned property on River Street. I, I just listen to my gut, and my gut says that that would be, a, have given a little bit more attended, attention given to it, um, such as maybe a plate of food um, to, you know, not not that, I, you know, we deserve to be enticed. The Benchland camp at San Lorenzo Park sprang up in October. Campers have increased to an estimated 80 to 100 people daily. It's considered temporary, but it has the feel of a more permanent residency. Now that a homeless shelter emergency has been declared, the city can move forward. And those measures include a temporary managed campground as well as moving forward with a day services center. Some neighbors don't seem to mind a temporary shelter set up along their street. I mean, it's pretty bad, right? It's the homeless problem in Santa Cruz is getting really bad. And um, if not here, I mean, they're going to stick them somewhere else. So we don't mind it. So we're fine with it. The Benchlands camp is located along the San Lorenzo River and the temporary shelter is as well near the city's drinking water intake. The Coastal Watershed Council will keep tabs on the camp's impact on the river. So it's very important that it be managed pr appropriately. The community is going to be paying attention and so we're asking that the city and the county together communicate how they're meeting people's needs and how that campsite will be managed as well. There is no definitive timeline for the jump from the bench lens to the River Street temporary shelter. One problem is finding someone who's willing to manage the site. Erin? All right, Phil, thank you. So ultimately the city does plan to establish a permanent service center and a full-time year-round homeless shelter.